And this year marks 100 years since the outbreak of World War I. And tomorrow on Veterans Day, we will honor those who served our country. But one school decided to start a little early. Reporter Mackenzie Scott tells us about the special way they celebrated. Cannon fire is often a symbol of battle and even victory. But for the Higley Unified School District, it was the sound chosen to signal the start of the ceremony to honor those who served their country. Thank you for what you do every year for us. Retired Lieutenant Colonel Margaret DeSanti was first deployed during the Vietnam War and served in the United States Army Nurse Corps for 30 years. She likes to remind students every year about the sacrifices that were made. I've made it my quest to, to show the children freedom isn't free and freedom is being paid for by all the men that I've served. I had the honor and privilege of serving the heroes. It was a time for students to listen to the troops' experiences to help understand the true meaning of bravery and sacrifice. Hearing some of their stories uh, really kind of put a solemn moment in, just took the time to realize that there's so much that people go through just for us and these people will never probably know us and the only thing we can do is just take the time to thank them. DeSanti comes to this event every year, but it's not just the students who benefit from her presence. I was in the hospital recovering from a, a stroke and uh, I get a phone call from the superintendent and asked me to speak this year and I was like, it did a lot for me, for my uh, getting better. Be it finding strength to speak or courage in battle, these retired military shared a piece of themselves with the Higley students and shared the meaning of Veterans Day. In Gilbert, Mackenzie Scott, Cronkite News. Students involved in the ROTC program from other Arizona high schools were also part of the ceremony.